After Christianity took back Spain from the Moors in the 14th century, they wanted to root out all non-Catholic elements in the country and unite it under Catholic rule. The church demanded that hundreds of thousands of Jews convert or leave. Many Jews agreed to convert and they became known as conversos. The slang or derogatory term given to those who were not totally sincere in their conversion was Moranos, which means pigs. They openly followed the Christian faith, but covertly held true to their former identity and agendas in secret. They intermarried with the nobility and rose to the highest ranks in government and the church. And according to Jewish-born author Dr. Henry Macau, and I quote, they pretended to belong to a target group, but like the Freemasons, they had handshakes to recognize each other, and they met in secret at night. The founder of the Jesuits was a converso, and so was his successor. Uh, the Society of Jesus, as the Jesuits are formally known, was started in the 1530s by Ignatius of Loyola, and he was a Basque soldier who compiled a series of esoteric spiritual exercises, which when performed, well, they were performed by all of the male order, and there are no Jesuit sisters. So these spiritual exercises consist of mental exercises, meditations, prayers, and other practices which were designed to improve a person's spiritual vitality. Another way of, exp of expressing this spiritual or universal um, force is the Asian term ki or chi. In India, one might come across the word prana, which is said to be controlled through breath and posture and the various forms of yoga. Prana is the Sanskrit word for life force. Vril is another name of this life force energy that theoretically fills the universe and all living beings. Helena Blavatsky, the foundress of the Theosophical Society, described this vril energy as an ether stream that can be transformed into a physical force. The Vril Society was a secret organization in Germany devoted to mastering this unseen force of nature. They accumulated and combined the guarded alchemical knowledge of this life force that's contained in Sufism, Aryan Hindu mysticism, theosophy, Nordic and Sumerian mythology, pagan sex magic, channeled material, and the Kabbalah. According to esoteric and yogic teachings, sexual energies can be channeled, stored, and harnessed, and Tantra and Kundalini Yoga were two ancient techniques utilized by the German Vril Society. After fleeing Germany in 1933, Dr. Willie Ley, one of the world's greatest rocket experts, said, and I quote, The Vril Society, which formed shortly before the Nazis came to power, believed that they had secret knowledge that would enable them to change their race and become equals of the men hidden in the bowels of the earth. Methods of concentration, a whole system of internal gymnastics by which they would be transformed, these methods of concentration were probably based on Ignatius Loyola's spiritual exercises, the Jesuit techniques of concentration and visualization are similar to many occult teachings, especially in shamanic cults and Tibetan Buddhism. The Nazis revered these Jesuit spiritual exercises and they believed that they had been handed down from ancient masters of Atlantis. The occultists of the time knew that Ignatius was a Basque. Some claimed that the Basque people were the last remnant of the Atlantean race, and the proper use of these techniques would enable the reactivation 
of the Vril, the belief was that the world will change and the Lords will emerge from the center of the earth unless we have made an alliance with them and become lords ourselves we shall find ourselves amongst the slaves on the dung heap that will nourish the roots of the new cities that will arise my name is robert sepper i'm an anthropologist and author and I invite you to explore some suppressed mysteries with me in an attempt to unlock the riddles which have eluded any serious consideration in mainstream academia. Species with amnesia, our forgotten history, gods with amnesia, subterranean worlds of inner earth, the occult secrets of Vril, and 1666 redemption through sin. I appreciate all of the positive feedback and I thank you very much for listening.